want to know the groups, uh, type in exclamation mark brackets in the chat and uh, we'll give you a link towards the groups. So, life into the pistol bash, unless they've actually chosen the sides already. We'll, we'll see about that. I think they've chosen the sides already. So it looks like we got to go live straight into this game. Into the zombie attacking side and Zaki already dropping uh, near here, but immediately getting uh, counter fragged by uh, Mason. Still though, this 4-4 uh, four four with Impus uh, opting to go towards B a little bit. They're uh, slowly making their way down there. I do remember uh, Danny uh, from tomorrow and he, he dropped like 35 bombs on, the, on this map. So he's definitely going to be uh, a player to watch. As, uh, these teams are going to be colliding. Dolby has found himself a frag of the solar. That's going to put that uh, ASL definitely out of the question. Towards that B site, Mason spotted just one on the A roof. Gonna get dropped though by Coop. Scars made his way forward, looking for that return pick, but it's not really gonna get it. I mean, you can definitely see that gone wild. I'm not gonna give any uh, any uh, more men away. As, uh, Danny's gonna shut down Ink. It's all lap of these Scars. In the 104, it's not very likely to happen. As he's coming on top of that B truck, he has spotted one player, but surely there's gonna be one. I mean, Kuhn has got the rotation as well. He's not going to be stuck. He's not going to be doing much. And Danny, he's going to get that frag in. So 1-0 up for Gunwell, only losing one man. Having a uh, strong start already. Now, going to pick it up with Scar. See he's going to be able to find a cross kill. He's going to go on top of that uh, little jump out there. B tank push. No one really showing his head though. And the smoke does come out from uh, the gentleman. On that B truck, Ink is uh, lining up a couple of grenades. Do you see more, uh, a little bit more focus from Impus uh, on the A side? Don't be getting tagged up, Saki as well, but still uh, alive and kicking. Mason does land a couple of attacks again on the Texas Death Note. Danny is there as well, though. You have to be careful. Namir is going to shut down Domi. Domi. Uh, maybe a little bit overextending, but then again, Danny does come back with a frag of his own onto Solid. Scarf did just spot him there. It spots another one on the, onto the middle. He's gonna be stuck out there. Techie to go down now. Danny's uh, yet again finding blood. Scars down and out. Oh, that's the second one for uh, Danny. Danny is uh, all the way in spawn. And Mason is gonna meet up with one on the A roof, but that's him. Could be in a little bit of trouble as he's on the key truck. Firing away as MP44, but Danny is gonna claim himself the hat trick as he drops Namria. Hatton is just waiting for uh, reinforcements to arrive as he's contesting this guy, the B tank. He does put him to his right right now, and Ink and uh, both Mason are on the mid side, but Danny is he actually gonna go for the ace. He's dropped Mason as well. Full frags are good for him. Coming in the back, missing a load of bullets, but Ink is going to get taken out by uh, Hatton. I think it does deserve a little cheer for uh, Danny. But this is a good man, so. Had a big argue about this uh, with uh, Weiss and Archer, but uh, there it is. Danny with a Jones Foreman. He's on 6 to 0. Now. Two opening kills, but get three as Kuhn finds himself another grenade kill. Oh, Scars, they nearly both lined up for him. The techies will uh, get taken out. Scars maybe gonna get dropped by, uh, by the fall damage as well. <gasps> Danny's gonna spam a little bit through that smoke. Kuhn has spotted one from the A alley. Solid is actually gonna get the better of him as Scars now finds himself the frag of the Domi. So now it is two on two. Scars gonna spot out Danny, who was just uh, going towards that back A side. He has him still playing that B-roll perfectly well. Danny's a little bit concerned though. Because now Hatton has been shut down. As uh, Danny uh, is on his own, one on two. Someone's gonna come out and plant this bomb. Scar's gonna be providing some covering fire still though, Danny. All the way back on the uh, spawn, this bomb bound to go down any second. And now he moves forward. Oh, spots, <laughs> spots one more. Scars, though, however, is on top of the glitch jump. He's going to be able to do much. Uh, Danny is making his way forward. He hasn't been spotted yet, though. 
If he gets this frag, oh my god, he's gonna miss that crucial shot. He's gonna go for the no scope. The scars will jump on top of it. And we'll take him out. So that's a very good round for Infant. They were two on four and they still managed to do it. Going well, they're gonna have to sit in a little bit more keen and not gonna give away any more frags. There's actually a two on five, in fact. So smoke coming out from uh, Dummy, gonna smoke over the middle yet again. Dunny's gonna get himself a nice frag up to you and Naomi with that MG. Scar's gonna line up the grenade that's gonna be landing on the A roof. You see a lot of grenades being uh, put out on the A side. Not landing though. Dunny is just such a player, he's just so aggressive with his scope, he's just standing on top of that box. Not gonna get taken out though. Mason, find him. Hatton. And uh, Dummy gonna be looking to close out. Oh, nice, uh, nice little attack from Hatton. Still, this B assault is gonna come by anytime soon. Do Impus actually have a shotgun though? I don't think they have, unless Namiya had the shotgun and he's been, he's been taken out. Mason is gonna get himself a frag and Hatton. Jackie does reply, but it's all on Dummy. He does find himself one frag in Mason, however. We do see Solid going towards that A side. Ink is going to be uh, holding that cross. Dummy is, however, uh, cross is actually, in fact, a 2 on 2. My god. I didn't even see that. I thought it was a 1 on 2 for Dummy at the moment, but still 2 on 2. As uh, Kuhn is going to be on top of the A roof. He's got himself a grenade as well, which is going to work out great for him. Bit of a bomb tickle from uh, Solid to uh, potentially bait out Kuhn right there. And Ink is going to be watching this A roof from all the way on the spawn stairs. And in fact, if Kuhn get this frag, Together with Domi onto Ink, it will be very easy for them. I have Solid. She's gonna get tagged up. That could give uh, Kuna some form of indication where Solid is at now. And 20 seconds remain. Something's gonna have to happen. Oh, Domi misses that shot with the shotgun. It's all on Kuhn. Can he stop this bomb from going down? There's 10 seconds left in the clock. He's gonna get taken out as well. Now it's 2 to 2. And Infas do seem to be clutching these, uh, these rounds that are going wild. Seems to be unable to close out. Three on two, they're calling it out for me. I don't even have to count anymore. Scar's gonna be looking for a little bit of a different angle on that cross. We smoked off a little bit though. Just spot a glimpse of one. It's actually a hat and crossing back right now. Impas are gonna be uh, going towards the mid side. We see two players up in mid. Taki has a. Uh, Oh, there's a one frag of the name here. That's gonna put Kumal with a man advantage. Still, though, I mean, I really played the rounds. And another frag for Taki as it drops Mason as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the little jump peak. Still three on five. And it's definitely not impossible. Infos have definitely shown that they can do it. Danny in spawn. Kun gonna go on top of the A roof, hoping to find some more information. Domi's actually all the way in the back. That could, for, could cause our, uh, some troubles for uh, Infus. He's going all the way silent as well. He's actually spotted one right now. He's gonna, yeah, he's, he's gonna get a secure kill. That's gonna be Scars down there. That should be around for Gone Wild. Unless something horribly happens as Solid does find himself one frag of the techie. So unfortunately, again, landing a tech with a shotgun does finish him off. Solo now on his own. He's gonna have to go for the A's with 40 seconds left on the clock. He's on the B tank, not likely to happen. He's gonna take it out by Atom. So, going well, finally taking the round in. Three to two. Yes, As, uh, we're on round six, gonna be looking uh, in a bit of view. Just real quick, where these nades are gonna be landing. And what are gonna be going with C2 or three players are heading towards that B side. Pretty standard setup. Usually you have two players with the A stairs. Three players going to that B side. Jackie playing a little bit aggressive. Let's get an early pick once in again. There's a lot of covering as well. So he's usually not too uh, too much of a danger. Solid. Let's just put a one uh, across. Scars is going to go peeking. Does land the tag on Zakun. Unfortunately, I'll get that frag. It's actually in his arm. And now, Hatton all the way back on the B side. Does put out a couple of grenades. Going to be calling it out to his teammates. Make sure he's going to be alive. He's going to get that frag on the Mason. That's going to be the entry for uh, Gone Wild. I think he's gonna get taken out by Danny. Beautiful shot by him. Still with his eyes peeled on that uh, Garrett's side as well. Convinced he knows there's gonna be someone out there. 
And rightfully so, because Naomi is on top of that sandbag roof. Kuna, meanwhile, again on that A roof, looking for some map picks. Potentially a little hat shot that, that could work out for him. Taki has to spot a one on that long roof. Kuna, looking at looking from the side, where is that? What are these guys doing? They're just getting dropped one by one. Infants need to use their numbers on one sort of side. Sort of the scar is all there on their own, and they're spread out as well. They've got no support from each other. Who'd actually get taken down? That was sloppy play from uh, from Kuhn and Tech combined, but Danny though does save it out. As uh, Scars again on the down. Does find himself one frag. Still though, time sticking away. It's it's likely just to be exit frags unless he somehow kills all three of them. Uh Hansen, he's gonna do the honors. Axis gonna close out the round for uh Gone Wild 4-2. Looks like Gone Wild are going to be maintaining that two round leads, which he uh, initially had. Nine frags for Danny. Looking, uh, looking good for him. Let's see if we can pick it up with him. There we go. Danny put another one onto Namia. This time it was a grenade frag. Oh, this is that second shot. I mean, uh, like, what the hell? A player like him uh, not miss that easily shot. <gasps> going to be looking towards that B alley. Do see uh, Anton getting taken out by uh, Ink with that shotgun. Danny now in a bit of a pickle. As this cast takes him out, sold it as well with a frag. That's all tacky. It was a 1 of 4, he did make it down to 1 of 3. This smoke is coming out in the B alley. You can see some infants are splitting up. Scars is on the top of that B roof. Maze is going to go ahead and plant the bomb on the A side. Tacky did make its way all the way around towards the mid side. Is he going to go? Yeah, he's actually going to go all the way around. That could pay off with at least one frag. <laughs> Mason is just looking around. Axis They're greedy for frags. Scars is going to get it. Win. Four to three. So, Impus claim another round back. Impus actually with the uh, shotgun. I not seen it too much with the shotgun, right? I not seen too much action of it. Danny, what a spot is that, actually? This is a fabulous spot. Go on this small jump, wow. It's actually spotted one. He actually spotted the spray through that smoke. Definitely going to get taken out, though. By uh, Namia, who's a little, bit, a little bit aggressive. Tommy as well. Tommy, considering pulling back, is going to do that. Pick up that car in the end game. Oh, he's actually going to miss that jump. Scars will get the better of him. Kuno quickly to reply to the Scars till it gone well. A man down. And now Infus just needs to use their numbers and go towards the side and, and force it. Let's see, Hatton. Oh my god, getting a hat shot from uh, Namia to take out a uh, hat and now uh, this bomb is going to be open uh, for the plant. Domi and Danny, or Raccoon and Danny, are uh, nowhere near there. Danny's going to go ahead and, uh, and die as Namia will get some hat trick. Cootie get a, a four man. Was, um, one on four after plant, it's, it's, uh, it's not going to happen unless, uh, unless, uh, unless some miracle will happen. Could just get going on the uh, A stairs, on the A roof. I spotted one, but it's uh, the clock ticking away as well. Axis eliminated. He's gonna die. Allies four to four, win. even Stevens, all square. Still, so you can see uh, definitely uh, Danny uh, for Gone Wild is uh, definitely the danger man. Whereas uh, both scopes actually are doing pretty pretty decent. This guy's as well with uh, seven frags. So, another uh, slow pace round for Impus. It definitely seems to be paying off for them. Kuhn is going to find one or two Mason, who was on that uh, long roof. Now, Tommy going to make his way towards that B side. He's actually deciding not to, Nate. Take you now. Going to get taken out by the potato masher of uh, Neymar yet. So, four and four. We're all square once more. So it gives a bit of uh, tip for tap. Nate does come out towards the A side from uh, the Impus. Looking to find uh, some block pattern. Didn't know this was a great incoming. Still, slow paced round. Impus. Looking to go towards that B side. They can only shoot. Impus has to get throw at that smoke. And then he will get that frag of the solid. Solid just going solo uh, on that A side. Not sure why you would do that, but still. 
Then he's going to pick up that Thompson. He's going to be uh, super dangerous right now. Scope in hand, Thompson as well. That's the combination I like to see. Kunin, meanwhile, on the A roof, has spotted one player on that, on that second B roof, but decided not to peek. You see Domi and Hatton. They got the B bomb side on lockdown. That should not be anything happened, but they does fight one on two Hatton. Looking over at Kun, he's actually going to be taken out by. Uh, by Namia, Scars will give himself a frag of the dummy as well. So, all on Danny once again. One on three, making now one on two as a set shot. And Gone Wild are throwing away this round pretty much. I thought they, 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 they can't seem to get this B bomb sign on lock. Scars is now on the second B roof. You can see ink on top of that uh, B truck, and the bombs we planted on top of the bomb as well. This should be around for, for Infus easily. I mean, as long as they don't peek uh, Danny, then, then they're all good. Danny, however, now going to look around that left corner. Knowing there's going to be one there. The spray out is Thompson as well. Scars, however, is watching that cross. Danny knows it. He hasn't got a grenade as well, and this bomb is sticking away. Just he's going to get taken out as well. There was Allies really win. nothing nothing Danny could do in that sort of situation. Now, Infest for the first time. They're in the lead. Gone well, despite getting a couple of uh, early kills in, they still uh, seem to be uh, uh, losing grasp of, uh, of those rounds. Whereas uh, if they still have 20 seconds left, they, they can magically still get that round in. So, opting to go towards B once again, going for those uh, slow peaking uh, rounds. Mason, that long roof. Namia did find himself the one pop onto Danny. Hatton does have to quickly onto Solid. Maybe it has been spotted onto the garage roof. Can I have to be careful for uh, I was going to say Danny, but he's been taken out already. Kuhn's going to get shut down as well by Scar's name. He's going to go down by uh, Domi. So Domi all the way in the garage side. Gotta be careful for any sort of lurker. Scar's going to plant the bomb on A. And there's no one to contest this bomb to go down. Mason's in the perfect position as well as Inca Scars. Mop up two players. Get the second one as well. Really, really well played by Impus. And uh, did I see a single frag there? <laughs> I don't think I did. But uh, either way. Uh, two round lead for Impus. Can they keep it up? There's uh, Ink. Make his way towards the B side once again and again an early kill for uh, John Wild. Can they keep it up though? Name is gonna make his way towards B as well. Tacky. There's actually a lot of emphasis being put on the A side by Gone Wild. I'm not sure why they would do that because B seems to be more of a problem when uh, emphasis do decide to go there. Finds himself a nice little frag into uh, Naomi Hatson. Finds himself a grenade kill as well. Don't well, really need to get this round. It's all on Solid and Scars. You'd say it should be very easy, but these two players have done it before. And a 2 on 5 a couple of rounds ago. As Scars looking for blood. Solid's all in the middle. So someone's gonna have to be very careful. And Scars. Something here is now in a 105. It's let me drop. Scars is being spotted. A dummy with that shotgun landing attack. Gonna get flashed. How on earth did that happen? Kun, though, will close out that round. Thank God Kun is over there. And now, 6 to 5. Can go and well close the gap and uh, go all even Steve's into the second half. Do you remember, guys, in the group stage, is only a best of one. And uh, we can't draw. There's no overtime. So every round does count as well. So Scars does find himself the first blood onto uh, Hatton. Hatton's brothers are not going to be happy with that one, I uh, can only assume. Oh. Now, oh, Taki landing attack, another frag. No, solid does go down to the grenade of Domi. Domi now left quite alone on this uh, B side. Not too sure if they like this smoke though, because it Actually, you know, I smoke now. This guy's gonna get, take out Dummy. Really easy frag for him. Ink as well. Following up quickly. Oh, look, dude. It's gonna be a yeah, this round. Because there we go. Ink is gonna put him out of his misery. That shot to him. 7 to 5. Really good stuff by Infus. I mean, it going well. We're 4 to 2 up at one point and uh, still uh, making it 7 to 5. 2 round lead. Not bad at all. 
But then again, you know, I, I do favor to leave the eye side on uh, on Tujane because you can uh, you can dictate the pace of this map. But we'll have to wait and see how come well uh, play uh, the attacking side. I think they do typically favor going towards the B side as a lot of teams do. But sometimes, you know, an A assault does work out well. Waiting on one player to ready up, and then we can go live, live, live. One coming, just perhaps doing some motivational speech to uh, get the troops ready. And there we go. We're live into the second half. Infants has gone well here at the last stand three in uh, Croatia, the Walpa Mega Land Center. Gotta go for the uh, bird's eye view to get a quick overview of what these guys are gonna be up to. And it looks like they're gonna be uh, going towards the mid side, putting a lot of aggression out there. Domi will find himself the first fax across to find the Domi. He's in there to the pickle as uh, Hatton will shut him down. That's enough falling back towards the alley. Gotta get taken out by Neymar here. Yeah? Three on three with Danny over at the A side. Gotta get tagged. Gotta get a little tag on the Mason. Where's Mason though? He's gonna be your man to watch. Gonna go for that jump shot, but there is one hand, however, on that A stair. And that's gonna be tacky to shut down Solid. It should be a good gun well round, however, Namia does find himself a frag. Long to tacky. Danny though quickly to find the Mason, and there is good with the final frag. Gonna be a gun round round. 76, first round goes to them. Round 76, come well, taking the first round on the attacking side. Can they keep it up though? Frax for scars. He's doing quite well. Then he actually being a little bit quiet. He was on nine frags, I believe, in the first first four rounds already. He now finding himself the first bot in quickly to reply though. It's gonna be a scope on the door. But uh Alton does jump around. Finds himself the frag doing so still. Uh, Going well with the man advantage, can they uh, can they use it well? Because the Emphas is not having any sort of man on the uh, B side. And this smoke does come out. Namir is gonna try and hold this B bomb side. You see Gomwa waiting for that smoke to uh, fully uh, fully extend uh, and then begin their assault. Scars is gonna get taken out by Kuhn. So Namia and Mason do remain. It's a two on four situation. Namia has to spot it. And now Kuhn. It's uh, not going to do me much because Hatton and Domi will clean out the rest. So it's 77. The ones you hear in the background are going to be gone well. <laughs> For sure, it's going to be Hatton uh, screaming. Domi, I can only assume, are going to be screaming as well. It's the British guys. They're always the loudest. Yeah, it's, it's gone well. They're so far executing their uh, attacks pretty well. Can they keep it up though? It's on the uh, slowly in the uh, B alley. A very slow paced round. Imp is a little bit scared of uh, crossing towards the B side with uh, still the presence of, uh, uh, of Danny. <sighs> Looking at those angles. I mean, Danny is just still looking for that blood and. Nearly a minute in, still no opening frags as of yet. A very, very slow paced round. Or uh, gone well. They're gonna be lining up the nades, however, gonna quickly follow where these nades are gonna be landing. The smoke is coming out, definitely a lot of nades landing in that barrel alley. I can see the reinforcements from uh, the access side. I gotta come in towards that B side. Oh, Joby. Quite will connect the second one. There we go, that's solid down. Gonna go for that second one. Gonna go for the jump shot. Hatton does find himself that frag of the name here. That's gonna open up the B-bomb side. Taki will follow up with his cars. This is a great execute from Gun Wild as Gomi finds himself the frag of the ink. It's all that's left up to Mason. Not gonna be uh, standing for any time soon. And that's gonna be Taki to mop him up. 8 to 7. Gun Wild taking three rounds in a row. And very convincingly as well.
so Adam gonna go for that quick nade towards that very early, hoping to get the first blood in. The, the, that potato measure will not land on anyone. As uh, Infers are gonna be uh, getting Namri across. Kuhn is still holding the A alley. You see Kuhn Wild having uh, three players around this spawn area, so could indicate that they might want to go into A if they could get a get a peek here, perhaps on Mason. Mason though does show his, uh, his face around there. Let's spot another one in the A alley. Then you know, let's go down to start. Dummy doesn't apply, so very good play by Dummy. And he's gonna finish off uh, Namia as so he uh, called that one out. Smoke has come out. Counter smoke from uh, Infus. He's gonna stop Gone Wild in their tracks. And, you know, maybe uh, Gone Wild should be going towards the A side right now. If he could get this frag, then it would be very easy for them. I don't know if gonna allow that. Uh, Domi's gonna get shut down by uh, Solid. He was actually gonna try and make that rotation happen. Now it's going free. The extra spawn's been smoked off. Hatton waiting for Mason to come around as he makes his way on top of the B roofs. Looking for every possible corner. There's one in the ace as well with his teammates. Did you just hear one from the bush? Oh, that barrel alley. Oh, Mason. With a great timing. Couldn't enable to finish off Mason right there. So. Fortunate as now Kuhn still fighting off Mason. Taki will find Solid. So still going wild onto this round. And this bomb has to go down. Perhaps Mason can still stop it. Oh, the bomb has been planted. And now Mason can't seem to get rid of Kuhn right there. As Taki will find himself that frag. Really well played. And now Ink all on his own. It's not gonna happen as uh, Taki will close out the round. Very well played by him. I believe that was a hat trick of Frax for Taki. 9 to 7. Gone Wild are now in a five, five rounds in a row, I believe, in fact. Or was it four? Four rounds in a row. So having a very good, good, good attack at the moment. Danny is. Uh, Pushing across, he had a small gap of opportunity to get a peek in, but now it's also smoked off, and these smokes last forever. Oh, Jackie with a beautiful double kill onto uh, the A side. That's gonna be completely uh, catching off uh, Infus of Guard. Only three players left standing, and Scars seems to be unable to do anything at the moment uh, with that scope. A little bit of boxes, spot one in the middle. I think uh, shuts down Kuhn. And uh, gonna go on top of the uh, second B roof. Uh, Scars with a jumping scope shot shuts him down. And gone well, what are they doing? They're not using the numbers at all. They're getting picked off one by one. Still, so the was in a prime position, but Scars takes him out as well. Scars has been shut down by Taki, but Taki immediately gets taken out by Solid. Oh, on to Danny. Will he be the round loser? If I uh, may say so. One on two. So, get himself a pickup. Solid. Gonna be waiting for any potential pushes from Danny. Ink gonna go all the way to the Allied spawn. Danny's gonna you know, somewhat time. He's got 40 seconds left on the clock. Gonna go in uh, for that fake. Solid. Gonna hear that fake. He's actually gonna fake again. Yes, that shot gonna get taken out by Ink. Really well played. Win. And finally, Emphis do flame around back. For their defensive side, it's that's been horrible quite now. I mean, Gone Wild taking two frags in by Taki, and they didn't really use that that momentum that they build up. They're kind of a little bit scared. Namia does uh, survive that grenade. Hatton now goes down to uh, Solid. Where he finds himself with a frag of the Namia. Four and four. Oh, nice shot by Domi, getting himself a double kill right there. That's going to put Infus again, and with a man disadvantage, can they. Uh, Hold that advantage, can he maintain it? And the answer is no, as Ink fights Danny. Uh, scars. He's done a lot of damage the previous round. Still get himself a grenade as well. Kuhn again on top of the A side. Tommy's actually, I thought for a second it was in the A roof, but it's actually just below it. Gonna get taken out by Scars. Scars being super sneaky. Oh my god, gonna attack! But luckily, Techie did finish him off. Mason, though, with a one pop. 
Honzi Teki to shut down, uh, shut him down, I think. And uh, Mason versus Kuhn. Both players uh, around the A side. Kuhn could very well possibly do this one. But again, a one on two situation for uh, Golden Wild. Just gonna go on somebody the B roof. Dust spot, Mason only landing tags though. Gonna do that jump. Hoping to get himself across and get this bomb down, get the time running in his favor. Instead, gonna go looking for a, a frag to make this a one on one, but now he's trying to go back. There's only 30 seconds left. He's gonna have to make a move at some point. But Infas are playing this very passively. Mason now finally decided to get into this fight. As he goes on top, he's going on top of that box. Does he spot this plan go down as Kuhn now? Making it a last minute plan and this nade does come in and will do the job. Very well played by Infest. The patient game did work out well and Kuhn, maybe you should have planned it a little bit earlier. Explosions so we're on to 99. The momentum win. of Gunwell has been uh, truly stopped into their tracks. Let's see what's going to happen now. Looking over at the bird side view of the map. See what these guys are doing. A couple of grenades incoming. Smoke has come out from the Germans. He's going to be taken out by Neymar yet. Some first blood to Invis for the very first time, I believe. Skull's going to get tagged up just a little bit. Going to go towards his uh, A stairs. Now, Gone Wild. With hats in and Dolby towards that B bomb side. Hoping to get a peek in. Are oh, they going to be able to do it though? Who's going to be on this B side of bank? Is there anyone out there? And he's going to smoke off the exit spawn, I believe. And it's actually on the B alley. And that, that tricked my mind. That's just a little bit right there. But uh, Solid on top of the B truck is getting a little bit of help right there. Is there any grenades incoming though from Gone Wild? Do they still have grenades? Doesn't look like it. Then he did uh, throw out a grenade already. He's gonna shut down Solid Domi immediately to go down to uh, Scars. So come well, still with that man disadvantage. Kuhn could cause for some troubles if uh, Gunwell do put some pressure over at B. He could get, catch up some rotations uh, from uh, Mason or either uh, Scars. Scars is still watching that B uh, cross hat and I spotted one on the B truck. Gonna get taken out though, what a timing from Ink. Kuhn does find himself one fragment of scars, but then he ended up. Oh my god, that is so disgusting. What a hatch up from Neymar yet. Now it's all on Kuhn. It's not gonna happen because Mason will close out the round for uh, Infus. Gonna make it 10 to 9. Infus back in the lead once again. But it's a fragile lead. Let's see what are we up to. Couple of grenades incoming on the uh, A side. On the exit spawn as well. Smoke again coming out. Do you see uh, the MP40 coming out? Not a gun you always see, Mason. On top of the cage roof. Oh, misses the shot onto Danny. That's not what you want to have. And makes his way back towards the A side. Damien is going to shut down Hatton. Now, go for a reload shot. Now, actually, he ends that deciding to fall back. Dummy's gonna shut down Namio. He's on the first butt. So, getting uh, revenge for his fallen teammate. Grenade gonna come out. So, Dummy will claim himself the second frag of the round. Gonna pick up the M1 Grand of uh, his fallen comrade Hatton. Line up uh, a little bit of a grenade there as well. Will not die to it. Danny all the way on garage roof. Did you just spot a grenade? Like, it was actually Dolby throwing out the smoke. Kuhn still with his eyes peeled on the A stairs, hoping to catch one of guard once more. Kuhn is really a lurker out there. Uh, Mason, did you spot a glimpse? There he goes. He's pulling on glimpse, but uh, Taki was all too ready and waiting for it. Mason is now gonna go down. Dummy with that range. You are not gonna go anywhere. Solid will uh, get the better of him. Still, though, two players remain. Where is Solid? He's actually fallen back, and now Kuhn will get that frag of the Solid. Scars all on his own. And he uh, does shut down Kuhn, but still, though, one or two after plant. 
Now Danny all the way back on the east track. Tech is uh, sitting in quite keen on uh, the B balcony scars. Make his way towards the mid side. And this uh, clock is ticking away in uh, favor of Gone Wild. You see uh, Danny just proning on the east truck. He's, uh, he's sitting comfortable there. Techie as well. I'm not sure what scars his, uh, his plan is. I mean, he might get lucky and spot Danny out there. He doesn't even see him now. Oh my god, Techie's actually going to go down, but luckily Danny is there. 10 to 10, you can hear the cheers from Gold Wild as they finally do flame around in. Stopping the momentum once again for Infus as they did take in three rounds in a row, but now Gold Wild back in their uh, comfortable seat. Scars, looking for that jumping scope shot, we will miss that one. Gonna go for the repeat down. As uh, Kuhn, gonna get taken out by Ink's grenade. Firing off his MP44 through that smoke, hoping to get lucky. And he's uh, still lurking around there, hoping to get a peek in. Namely, this time not pushing towards that East truck, which is a very wise decision to do so because Gumwild actually needing that one and now getting a team kill. Hatton, what are you doing? And Techie does find himself what frag of his guards. Solid's gonna miss that shot, but. Still uh, will have firm control of this B alley as Domi's now down. Hatton though does uh, recuperate on that one. I mean, he had to. <laughs> so, solid down. Hatton finds himself two frags. If you count in the team kill, make death free. Mason all the way in the A box. Tech. He over a mid, but being forced away. I think he's been spotted. Hatton on the sandbag roof. Kind of jump down. He's only got a Thompson to hand out. That could be a hat shot. Will find himself the frag of egg. He's got himself free now. It's uh, tacky. Will find himself the frag of Mason. Danny was going gonna go for the jumping scope shot, but it's a little area right now. One on three. Gonna take up Hatton. Oh my god, Namrio with two headshots! But luckily, Techie will be there in the back to close out the round for Gone Wild. That was very scary for uh, Gone Wild. 11 to 10. Gone Wild take the lead once more. Scars gonna pick up with him as he's making his way towards the mid side, looking for an early kill. However, Coot has found himself the Bavada measure kill to uh, Namrio. Scars, however, couldn't be able to. Uh, he didn't find anyone out there. He's gonna be falling back. Now Mason finds himself a grenade kill onto Kuhn. Taki. Just firing off his M1 shot over the Garrett side. Alton uh, still waiting for any potential pushers uh, through that smoke. You do have that little smoke advantage. I think uh, when his eyes peeled on the back of the roof, potentially to uh, meet up with Kuhn or uh, Danny. He's actually made his way all the way towards B and hoping uh, to find a peek over there. And it's not quite often you see scopes on the B side. No. Yeah, I, th I like the idea. Lining up a, a bit of a grenade. Maybe it will uh, land. And there we go. It lands on the hat of ink. Tommy's going to check out a gr uh, smoke grenade as well. And this is going to be the B execute from uh, Gone Wild. Where is Solid on the B tank? Shot to his hand, but he's in a bit of a precarious situation. Now actually going to fall back. Scars will fight one. Techie down and out. Saying that though, Gone Wild have got control of the B bomb side. Hatton is going to want that bomb. However, Scars is there in the B tank. Danny does shut down uh, Mason. Hatton is going to go looking for that frag. Will find him. Really well played by Hatton. Showing a bit of aggression, it does pay off. Solid one on three, bombing planet. What can he do? He's gonna have to go for it because there's no overtimes in this one, and this is gonna secure a, a draw at least for Gone Wild. There's a solid. Can't find himself a frack. Hatton will close out the round. 12 to 10. It's gonna be match point for Gone Wild. And two match points, in fact, for the game. Pick it up with Solid, he's got himself a nice little front spawn. Gotta go straight into a grenade uh, to uh, stop him there. Gonna be looking 
Yeah, for anyone who is gonna go on that moss group. Just see someone push. That's Namia. He's, he's such an aggressive player. Like sometimes he pushes the reality, sometimes he pushes the East Truck. So you have to be really careful for him, and Skun is not careful enough. Because Namia finds himself that first frag. And meanwhile, Gunwild are looking to go towards that B bomb site. As, uh, they are gonna be lining up those grenades yet again. A little moment of silence as uh, we do continue. I'm just gonna line up those grenades yet again. Let's have a quick look where these grenades are landing. You can see all the way on the bear rally. There is a uh, Mason this time sitting on top of the uh, bomb. Uh, Seki will uh, find himself one frag in the name yet. Scars is on the big tank as well. He's actually playing it quite aggressively. And now Ink is gonna get himself a frag of the tank. He needs to go down to, uh, to Danny. Solid is falling back as he uh, pick himself one frag. And now Hatson all on his own. Can he close it out though? Finds himself in a one of three. Can he keep him, keep the honor of his big brother who is watching him right now? Timeout being called out. I'm not too sure why you would do that. Oh, uh, there we go. Mason will close out the round. Win. On top of the jump. 12 to 11. It's going to be as close as it gets. Did we have a timeout? I th no, timeout got to cancel. Good. 12 to 11. Can Gumwell close it out? Or will this be a draw? Scars finds himself the first frag onto Tech. He could. Tags up Scars pretty heavily. Mason looking for a, a bit of aggression himself as well. Gone wild. On the back foot once more. Scars just proning it out there, looking for those nades. That could potentially be coming and raining now. You can see Gone Wild are, are holding on to those grenades. Then he has a grenade as well. Hatton has a grenade. It's on me as well, so three grenades still on Gunwild. That, that could still turn around around completely. And Gunwild actually making their way towards uh, the A side. This is risky, but it could well play, pay off. Big, I mean, risks equal reward. Quotation from Dummy. But uh, yeah, Dummy gonna line up those grenades, waiting for the rest of his teammates uh, to do the, the exact same thing. Looking where those grenades are going to be landing though. And there's the first frag. Solid will go down. Smoke will smoke over the mid side. And that's a great execute. Without think he's going to stop that execute from happening. Danny and Mason. Oh, Danny with a double kill. And Tommy, is he going to get the winner? Scars all on his own. One on two. Can he keep Impus from falling apart? 30 seconds left. This bomb will go down. And Tommy going to get taken out by the no scope of Scars in this bomb. Still hasn't yet been planted. What are they doing? Scope on scope. Danny versus Scars. Both the top fraggers. In fact, it's tacky top frag, but still one on one. Scope on scope. 18 seconds left. The time's sticking away as well. 15 seconds left. Danny's gonna tickle that bomb. Scars is gonna hit that plant. And he's gonna look at Scars! We'll get it! One on two. He's gonna get the drawing for Impus. What a play by Scars. He's gonna get an O scope at the zombie. And why did that plant not go down yet? Oh my god. I mean. Come well, that's such a well executed in the A side. Danny getting himself a double kill, but unable to close out that game. It's gonna be a draw for uh, Gone Wild. And that deserves a little song for uh, Scars. Yeah.